I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. As you can see, I'm on the road today. I'm over at my dad's house and we're going to do some cooking. And I'm going to do some watching. He's going to do some watching and some supervising. You might remember we were here a while back and my dad and I made some cornbread. Well, we're making another batch of that today and we set a little bit aside to make some corn cakes and then we started thinking about potato cakes. This time of year you're probably making some big dinners with a lot of mashed potatoes. If you're like most people, you might have some left over. Making potato cakes is the perfect solution. When it comes to potato cakes, my dad is an expert. So he's going to supervise today and give me directions and together we're going to make some really good homemade potato cakes. So I'm just wondering, Dad, did you eat potato cakes when you were young or when did you first start to eat these things? Well, you see, I'm 93 years old and I've been eating them all my life. Okay. My so mother used to make them when I was home. So uh, I, I should know what a good potato cake is. Okay. Did your mom make them with the leftover mashed potatoes? Oh, or yeah. Did... Okay. Sure. Yeah, leftover. So here's the mashed potatoes we have left over from Thanksgiving. We're going to use those today. All right, Dad, what do you want me to do with these potatoes first? Put them in a bowl. Put them in that bowl. You don't think potato they work? Potato cakes are good with buttermilk. If you like buttermilk, try your glass of buttermilk. Is that what you're having? That's what I'm having. All right, so I got my potatoes in the bowl. Next, what do I need next? Did you put some onion in with them? No, not yet. I got a whole yellow onion chopped up. How much of that do you want me to put in there? I'll put your egg in it. Oh, put the egg in first? Okay. So about half of a sweet yellow onion diced up. All right, what else? Start stirring it up, mixing it up. You got a good hot skillet? No. So let me get this stirred up first. I got to get up where I can see it. Okay. Put some uh, whistling all or, or uh, olive oil, whatever you're going to use it, in, in this mix. Oh, in there? Okay. Well, let's put a little olive oil in there. How much? I don't know. Just put some in there. More than that. Okay. About two big tablespoons. Try it. These potatoes still look pretty dry, so we're trying to soften them up a little. Do we need another egg, or is one enough? I believe I should try another one. I think so, too. I believe I'd put just a little bit of buttermilk in there. Okay. Yeah. Now the mixture's looking good now. Okay, so our mixture's looking a little bit creamier now. Looks a little better. We're gonna add just about one spoonful of this Martha White buttermilk cornmeal mix. That's enough. buttermilk in there. Okay. 
Here, you stir on them a little bit. How about that? You stir on them a little bit, and I'm going to get the uh, skillet going. So we're going to get it on some medium-high heat, right? Right. And we want uh, some Wesson oil in there or some olive oil? Olive oil. Olive oil. How much? We want to coat the whole bottom of the pan? Yeah. We're using a non-stick pan, but we want to coat the whole bottom of it. We're going to go with a little bit more of our cornmeal. Does that look about right? Looking good to me. Okay. So, I'm going to wash my hands up. And we're going to pat these out by hand. How hot is that skillet? Not hot enough. Okay. So while we're waiting on this skillet to get hot, you talked about your mother making these. How many brothers and sisters did you have? How many kids did your mom have? I had two sisters and four brothers. So, three brothers. Three brothers. I made the fourth. So six kids your mom was feeding with these. Yep. And a lot of strays. Boys coming by. Eating with us. Friends and things. We live close to the schoolhouse where we all went to school. And uh, we could go home for our lunch. And there's always another boy or two go home with us. That was back in the good old days. Back in the country. We believe that our skillet and our oil might be hot enough, so I've got my hands washed up, and I'm gonna try just forming some of this into a patty. It's gonna look about like that. Let's see what that looks like. We decided to do a little salt and pepper on these. So we decided to put a little bit of a um, little bit more onion in the rest of this batter. Cause I like a lot of onion, and maybe you don't like as much onion as I do. So we'll have some of both kinds. I love a lot of onion. The more onion, the better. We're gonna get us a plate ready with a napkin on it to drain the grease off when these come out. Get you a glass of buttermilk and be ready. We're gonna drink buttermilk when we eat these. Buttermilk with it. With our potato patty. Yeah. Okay, we're heating up a second skillet because we are also making some cornbread today. And we saved out a little bit of the batter to make some cornbread cakes. Now we've got our oil hot in our second skillet and we're going to pour in a little bit of this cornbread batter. Okay, we've got our cornbread cakes ready. They look pretty good. Still waiting on those potato cakes. So did you want to taste our corn cakes? I know it's good. You can tell by looking at that. Very good. Yeah, now that's good. cornbread video I did not have the camera rolling when we cut this beautiful cornbread so here's what it looks like if you missed that video make sure to hop back over to my channel and check it out all right I think we finally have success it's been a while since my dad made these so here's the keys here's the things you definitely need to look out for you don't want your mashed potatoes too wet if they're too creamy, you need to add more cornmeal. After we finally remembered those tips, success. Now let's go have our buttermilk. I'm gonna be a good sport and have my buttermilk in a coffee cup. We're ready for a taste test on these potato cakes. 
Like that one? I know, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you can tell we're looking at them. Real good. You want to drink some buttermilk? When in Rome, that's pretty good. I called a little girl next door. She's been eating cornbread with me about all her life. I come over and I'll bake some, I, I share it with her. She loves it. Well, she'll be coming home from school here in a few minutes. Oh, that is pretty good with that buttermilk. <laughs> so you said you were 93 but you're really not you're really 92 until January so for January we might need to do a birthday video for you what do we want to make for that we don't want cake cake no cake no hmm maybe I I'm not much for sweet stuff well, let's be thinking about what we want to do for your birthday celebration in January. Cooking with my dad is really, really fun, and I know you guys enjoy it. If there's anything you'd like to see us make, let me know. I'll see you next week. In the meantime, turn off the TV. Turn on some music and just keep jamming.